Good evening. My name is Mike Revis, and I'd like to take a few minutes to just speak with you briefly and about a subject that I just have always found fascinating, and that subject is the eight classic types of workplace behavior. Uh, many of us are uh, working professionals. We've held positions uh, since you know since graduated from college or after high school, but we've worked somewhere for the most part. And we've all, you know, had our, uh, you know, assessments, and you know, we've been defined, and we admire, and we uh, we look at others, and we we always observe someone's behavior, and that's something that, again, has always been fascinating to me, and I just want to speak with you about uh, the different types of behavior and how you may identify and how you might better understand. Uh, the behaviors in the workplace. I guess it really started uh, with me um, when I started working for uh, the Human Resources Department uh, at the bank that I worked at. And so there were a lot of personality assessment tests uh, identifying what was your uh, personality type. And from that it just really just opened my eyes to different types of uh, individuals and, and how the dynamics of the different personality types make up a team uh, from leadership uh, and and the staff uh, as you know as a whole so with that being said I, I just want to talk to you about uh, how each personality type is defined and how they may uh, bring uh, how they make up one unit and how everyone brings something different to the table. And so um, here's how uh, it's been defined and I, I found a very fascinating article by, um, there was an HR magazine from September 2000 by Francine uh, Dalton, uh, if you will. So she, she breaks down the eight uh, workplace uh, behaviors uh, like this. Uh, the first one being the commander, uh, the commander type. We pretty much, like the name implies, commanders. Uh, they're pretty much uh, demanding kind of the tyrants, uh, uh, basically your, your, your control freaks, okay? Uh, the second is the uh, drifter. The drifter in and of themselves are, are free-spirited, uh, kind of disorganized, they're very impulsive, um, total opposites of the commander, okay? The attackers, um, we know about those, those that are always flying off the handle at the smallest things. Uh, they're, they're quick to rage, quick to anger, very cynical and, 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 and grouchy, okay? The pleasers, very thoughtful, pleasant and helpful, easy to get along with, okay? Uh, the fifth being the performers, um, they're boastful, uh, very jovial, you know, very uh, results-driven types uh, that, that, that they're attention seekers. They love gaining attention uh, from everyone. And so that's what you would consider your, your performer types. Um, the avoiders, uh, again, these are you're basically your wallflowers. These are the individuals that avoid confrontation. They're just more concerned with just where their place is in the, in the workplace, and they just enjoy just having their task and work, working directly on their task. Okay, the analyticals. These are what I consider the mad scientists uh, of of the team. Everything is a science to them. Everything is 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 broken down to the most minute, uh, everything is a puzzle, everything uh, needs to be solved uh, with them, okay? And then last, the achievers, and I believe that would be the best way I would describe who I am, uh, the achiever, okay? I'm, I'm more uh, focused on uh, reaching my goals, uh, uh, planning out uh, things, um, you know, sometimes I have to really uh, lock in and, and, and really ensure, but I'm somewhat of a perfectionist. I mean, I really want to ensure that, uh, you know, I give it everything that I have uh, and just really just do the best job that I can. Now, most of us 
are like that or should be like that. But at the same time, um, I think it is something that uh, we should all take a look at uh, when looking at how our team is made up and how uh, each individual has a different background, a different way of seeing things. And it's a really, really wonderful, wonderful uh, experience to just look at how things and how different personality types fit in to make their team. And as a manager, I mean, you would uh, learn how to get the best and the most out of uh, these team members to ensure that, uh, you know, each is becoming a major contributor uh, to uh, the, the workplace. And so, you know, with the uh, descriptions of the different personality types that I gave you, my hope is that you will take a closer look at how you are, are structured and how you approach your work and how, um, you know, you can really be the best you can be and help others become the best they can be uh, just by their personality type. So it's really a wonderful uh, thing. There's not enough time to really get into uh, the different ways of managing these 10 members. But again, this is just something to just uh, help you uh, better understand uh, how important it is as to who you are and what you'll be bringing to the table. So get excited about uh, your team, um, uh, whatever your personality type. Just uh, have fun with it. Thanks and uh, have a good evening.